you could try to capture the tempo of this town. Attempt to take a photo. <laughs> Strikingly beautiful. Of its heartbeat. I'm looking for angles. We easily get, you know, 50 to 100 pictures of them a day. Yeah, it blew me away, actually. But for all the pictures, beautiful or bizarre, one image stands out. A dog walked itself on a leash. Come on, let's go. Oh my God. Oh, is he cute. Like many golden retrievers, nine-year-old Sporty liked to carry something like a toy or ball in his mouth. But years ago, he instead began toting his own tether. I insist on it. It's kind of a mutual thing. His owner, David Duncan, adopted the former agility and championship show dog. Sporty has since taken his leash and his showmanship to the sidewalk as the city's unofficial fluffiest landmark. He was in Chicago Magazine, he was in New York Mag. You are an awesome dog. He is a little bit of a local celebrity around here, yeah. Duncan is quick to point out if anyone is uncomfortable with the retriever's reception, he's never too far away, and Sporty's strap goes back on. No, 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 you come on. From nine to five, Duncan is an options trader. I yell and scream all day. Because of that, Sporty is as much a therapy dog for him as the canine is for all the strangers he greets. He's everything. I, hey guys, come on. I don't know what I'd do without him. I really don't. Hi, baby. Or he spreads the love. He makes people happy, you know? I just want to give him back, you know, what he's given me. A dog that walks to a different beat. Oh, my God. He's <laughs> Sporty may not own this river walk, but he's got a leash on it. We're going to do this as long as he wants. Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Four time prayers of a different sort. That's a blessing. Are answered inside Chicago's Moody Church. I feel gorgeous. <laughs> You're getting pretty fine. You look unbelievable. A kind of baptism of beauty takes place. Refreshing them up. You're adorable, <laughs> so oh my cute. God. You're like a celebrity. You got two people working on your hair. Hairspray gushes, company blushes, and brushes. One, two, three. Beautiful. It is all in an effort to take the perfect family photo. Beautiful. For people like Joanna go. Dampier. Look, Mari, say cheese. Today's not for you, is it? No. Today's not. It's for my brother in law. They can't see him over the holidays. He's in prison. I miss him dearly. But there is a way the family's image can visit. Perfect. The program, Help Portrait Chicago, allows loved ones who can't afford the hundreds of dollars needed to take a professional holiday portrait. We're happy today. The snapshots are converted to no-cost holiday cards. We're getting it for free. For volunteers, it is a chance to help families in crisis. It makes you feel good. I'm not doing this just because I want to help them. I'm doing this because I know what it feels like. like David Dolce focused on hair for 13 years, but before then, his focus was on where he could get his next meal. I had no food. I'd go to food pantries to get what I ate. Were you homeless at one time? I've definitely been homeless. I've slept couch to couch to couch to couch. I slept outside just because I was too proud to go ask for help and to go anywhere else. Head up slightly. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for other people helping me when I needed help. Beautiful. Organizers count more than 150 <laughs> portrait sessions <You> taken. <laughs> but they lost count of the number of smiles. Beautiful big smile. A picture bringing needed joy to families with volunteers finding purpose in portraiture. I'll be here every year. I'll be here every year. Jeremy Ross. Beautiful. CBS 2 News. This story doesn't start with a gush of news. It begins with a drip. It's because you see it's still running. It continues with concerns about a fall or a slip. Sliding on the ice. Duct tape. It wrapped the raincoat around it and it got the duct tape and wrapped the duct tape around trying to stop it from leaking. Not sure what that is. Leaking is still leaking. Broken for months and months. Somewhere underneath the makeshift band-aid for a leak, you'll see the fire hydrant in 43rd and Champlain. This tail of the tape extends to downtown as well. Pictures show now fixed hydrants in Wabash and another bagged and taped on state. You don't take nothing to knock that up. You fix that. If your house is on fire, do you depend on that hydrant? Oh, no, no, man. Well, if they had seen the tape and plastic on it, they would have immediately gone to the next hydrant. Gary Litherland of the Department of Water says firefighters would instead go to a hydrant less than 300 feet away. He calls the tape jobs something neighbors did. Our call to his office fixed the problem. 
and he's calling on neighbors to alert the city so future leaks don't linger. We try to get to them all within 24 hours.